Hello there. Uh, this is um, this is a big pink circle in the sky. It's um, it's it's going to be a, a planetary surface. This one, and the the planet has uh, got an atmosphere, which makes it look uh, all sorts of nice shades of colours. I remember when Odyssey came out. This purpley pink colour was one of the first atmospheres they revealed, and and it was just the best colour. It was so incredible. The the tones and and you really feel like you're in an alien world because that that's not the colour we have. Anyway, so I quite like about this this sky that it, it, it slowly sort of appears thicker and thicker as you look towards the ground. And at that base, really near the ground, you've almost got this greenish tinge. And I was trying to show the way it becomes, it's less that amethysty, crystal, pinky purple colour and, and more of a kind of a gunmetal colour. It was patches of sort of green and, and grey in it. The, the thickness of the clogging of the atmosphere and I just wonder if this atmosphere was actually full strength because this is like under 10% thickness atmosphere it's not nothing like what we've got uh, what what that sky would look like what colors would be getting through that'd be incredible I like doing the cloudy colory wibbly bits uh, this one is um, a commander doing some scanning with his Dyson scanner and I quite like the, uh, the, the I'm not sure whether the, the, the bio sign that he's found is, is threatening or threatened by him I quite like that kind of like it's, it's, it's either got its hands up or it's reaching out to get him I think that's quite cool so yeah I think the things I enjoyed doing on this is to show that um, there's colour visible on that plant despite the fact that it was actually quite dark I, I, I ended up lightening the whole picture up quite a bit from what it originally was the picture was really dark initially uh, so I did boost it quite a lot but you know they've still got you've still got pretty deep shadows and the commander themselves they're, they're really really dark so so you've got not too much definition really in that figure and uh, the leopard patches on the surface of the cactus that, that's been scanned. You can see where the, the light trickles onto it. You've got those quite bright colours that if it wasn't silhouetted, you'd really have this bright, bright, shining plant. Of course, this commander's got to now scan this one and then walk a good distance, or get in an SRV, I guess, walk a good distance to find another one and then a third and that's that's the thing that it, that makes scanning for life forms on planets uh, a lengthy process though they've recently made it incredibly lucrative you can make oh, is it, uh, I think it was Commander Alec Turner uh, came back after about a week or so with with a good billion in his pocket I mean it, it, it's, it's not bad is it when I, I I remember the uh, the times before the FSS, and uh, in fact before the um, the advanced discovery scanner, where you had to travel out. You became adept at telling what the different bodies in a system were by their little hologram in your radar, and you could tell whether or not it was a high metal or an Earth-like or a water world. And obviously, you, you get paid different amount of money by the Pilots Federation for uh, scanning different ones. And you'd travel and you could be traveling, you know, hundreds of thousands of light seconds out to, to scan an Earth light and then obviously find it's a high metal content planet or something. Uh, anyway, thank, thank you for listening to whatever I said. That, <laughs> that stream of consciousness. Sorry about that. All right. Bye.